Hello and welcome to a new month. It's Tuesday the 1st of September. If this was a normal year, today, the day after Bank Holiday Monday, I would have been at Kilnsey Show. Kilnsey is one of the largest and, in the opinion of many, one of the best of the season of Dale's shows. In nearly 125 years, until now, it has only ever been cancelled by war and by foot and mouth disease, but has now fallen victim to COVID-19. In 1986, it had to be abandoned at lunchtime when the River Wharf and surrounding streams began to overflow their banks as the Dales were lashed by the tail end of Hurricane Charlie. I was there. I remember it well. Show chairman Chris Windle, announcing next year's event for Tuesday, August the 31st, said, We can only hope and pray that by then we can welcome everyone back to this great event which continues to shine the spotlight on the cream of local farming, rural life, food and produce, arts and crafts, a traditional, ever-popular Dales agricultural show that connects our country communities with the wider general population. That brief statement gives an overview of the purposes of the show, but I wonder if any particular word strikes you as being key. The word I would propose is the word connects. If you've been to Kilnsey Show, or indeed any local show, and wandered around for a few minutes, I guarantee you will have heard snatches of conversation which go along these lines. Now then, how are you doing? Oh, not so bad, you know, considering old age and poverty. It's the sound of people connecting. People who perhaps have not seen each other since last Kilnsey show, and who use the opportunity to catch up. Perhaps in a sense everything else, the competition, the skills on display, even the Yorkshire Dales ice cream, is secondary to the importance of connecting. And as well as individuals being able to connect, as Chris Windle says, the show connects rural communities with the wider population. Many who attend have no first-hand experience or insight into farming or life in the countryside, but their interest has perhaps been sparked by an abundance of TV programmes, Country File, This Farming Life, Our Yorkshire Farm, and, starting tonight and filmed around Grassington, a new run of All Creatures Great and Small. So people from towns and cities within travelling distance come to see for themselves a snapshot of rural life, maybe to try to feel more connected to it. After all, as someone has said, if you eat, you have an interest in farming. The more communities and interest groups seek to be connected to each other, the greater the potential for mutual trust and understanding. The alternative is that each stays within its own enclave and shouts slogans or even abuse to those outside. There are too many examples of that in today's world, and the calmer voices of understanding and conciliation are easily drowned out. Paul tells us in his second letter to the Corinthians that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. That was a huge gulf to bridge, an amazing connection to make. And as the beneficiaries of that divine initiative, Christians are now called to be reconcilers where they are, to seek to establish and nurture connections. Whether with individuals or as community representatives, it will involve both listening in order to understand and explaining in order to clarify. We will not always be successful. We may suffer misunderstanding and rejection as Jesus did, but that does not clear us of responsibility. As Paul also says, we are now entrusted with this ministry of reconciliation. Each of us is part of a different network, and that is where each of us must seek to exercise this calling. Let's pray. Lord, may I take care to listen before speaking. 
And may the words I do speak be guided by your Spirit, so that by listening and by speaking, right connections may be made. In the name of Jesus, and for your kingdom's sake. Amen. So, perhaps see you at Kilnsey Show next year.